It's time for the Freedom in 5 Minutes podcast. Powerful and liberating business strategies. You can start in 5 minutes or less. Now, here's your host, Dean Soto. Hey, this is Dean Soto, founder of freedominfivenutes.com and prosulum.com, P R O S U L U M.com. And we're here again with another Freedom in Five Minutes podcast episode. Today's topic is this There is always a faster way to do business. That and more coming up. So, uh, <laughs> one of the, uh, so, hey, how's it going? Long time since I see. Uh, we, uh, so I, I, I might, you might hear cars in the background. I'm actually, I dropped my kids off and I dropped my kids off at uh, dance and they are dancing the night away. Actually, this is tumbling. So they're tumbling the night away. And, uh, <clears throat> I'm right next to a, a semi busy street in, where we live, <laughs> uh, so you, you're going to hear some cars go by. Um, so, uh, back when I was in high school, it was interesting that I uh, was not a big fan of school <laughs> in general at all. In fact, I absolutely hated public school. I did really, really, really poorly. And it's funny because I, I always imagine what people think when they're when I never thought I would never thought I was going to be an entrepreneur or anything like that. And, uh, and I'm like, I don't know. The people pretty much thought I was probably going to be on the street poor, uh, or, or doing some just really minimal wage job or something like that. Oh, it's, uh, it's so many people felt so sorry for me because I did not, I, I pretty much almost didn't even graduate. And so anyway, you know, while I was there, I had this Spanish class. In fact, I really liked the Spanish teacher. I believe his name was Mr. McLeach or something like that. And that he might have been a... I'm pretty sure he was a coach and a Spanish teacher. And he, he was... I just, I, he had these funny, corny jokes. Like, he would always say... So, he would... Uh, one of his jokes was that... <laughs> it was it was a, it was a, a Spanish joke that uh, so somebody uh, had just lost uh, this wife had just lost her husband and so they go in and they have the funeral and the and the uh, the husband is lying there in an open casket and you know the priest gives his 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 last his what is that called the um, uh, his eulogy. Everyone is sad because this guy was just one. He was a great dad. He a great husband. Really, just everybody was heartbroken, especially the wife, obviously. And so the wife, at the end of the service, they go up to the uh, casket, and she is crying uncontrollably, absolutely crying. Just no one can console her, and. She is saying in Spanish, she's crying and she's saying, Por que? Por que? Por que? And the husband, in a miracle, in response, says, Butter. (laughs) So corny. So if you've never seen the parquet butter commercials, you're not going to get it. But back in the day... Back during that time, they had this commercial where, where basically they would say somebody would say in the commercial parquet, and the butter would open its ma- little, little lid like a mouth and say butter, butter. And so here she is. She's like porque, porque, butter. <laughs> and I thought it was funny. Nobody else thought it was funny. And you're probably not laughing. You're thinking like, what the heck? This guy is so corny. I'm not gonna even listen to this guy anymore. But that's all right. I liked the Spanish teacher. The thing that I didn't like was how we were learning Spanish. I literally only learned during that time. And it's me, of course. I mean, one of the things is me. I, I guess it's me. But you can't teach. I, I don't know. I think there's always a better way to teach. 
And so the only thing that I learned was, Donde esta Rosario? Donde esta? Donde esta Rosario? Because we had to watch Destinos, which is a pretty popular, like, teaching movie for Spanish. And I also learned, I medico en la casa? Is there a doctor in the house or a medic in the house? <laughs> That's about it. Because it was so boring. I could not learn the way that they were trying to learn. And in fact, in public school, it's not in their benefit, really, to teach you something very, very quickly. Because what are you going to do for the next year or two years or whatever? A big, huge exca excavator just drove by. What are you going to do in the next, in all of that time, right? They literally, they, they benefit. And you might, uh, you might agree, you might disagree. I, I honestly don't care. Um, I hate public school, so I'm always going to rag on it. Um, the other, only thing I really liked was my, was my friends and learning and, and spending time ditching school uh, at, uh, and going to the beach and stuff like that. Very fun. The, uh, <laughs> But I literally in one year of Spanish, that's all I learned, right? And here I am, I actually enjoy learning new things. I enjoy learning languages. In fact, uh, you know, right now, I, I, I was like, you know what? I, my wife speaks Spanish. I'm, I'm look Spanish. I'm, I'm part Mexican. And I, you know, every time we go to a Mexican restaurant, they look at her and they're like, Hey, uh, can they, they're like, Hey, what would you like to order? And then they look at me and they're like, Como esta? Uh, and you know, and start speaking Spanish. And I'm like, uh, so I'm like, I'm thinking, you know what? I'm going to start learning Spanish. How am I going to do this? I'm thinking it's going to take a year. It's going to take two years. It's going to take more than that. Right. Cause that's the way it typically takes. Right. Well, I find this thing called uh, the Michelle, Michelle Thomas method. And literally, it's just audios. It's, and, uh, you know, you have those, uh, all those different audio programs and everything like that that um, supposedly teach you how to sp speak Spanish. But it's like, ¿Cómo está? My, uh, me llamo es Frank. Me llamo es Dean. Uh, ¿Qué tal? things like that. And you learn these little phrases. But the difference between that and this with the Michelle Thomas method, because I was like, I need to learn this thing fast. I'm tired of not know knowing Spanish, right? I'm tired of not knowing uh, any uh, uh, another language, really. I knew, Jap I knew a lot more Japanese than I do Spanish. And, and I'm like, I need to learn this thing. I have to. And so I checked, I, somehow I stumbled upon it and I'm listening to it. And I'm like, there's no way they, they had a free demo on like the Apple app store that you can download. And you literally learn in that first hour so much. <laughs> I was like, wait, how is this happening? So I, I'm like, this is cool. And so, um, uh, I, it's it's really interesting because I'm able to now uh, I'm able to, uh, to 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 learn a language extremely quick because it, it, it's done in a very different way. It's done in a way so the language is done in a way or the the learning is done in a way where you focus on building and understanding grammatical structure and in a, in a way where it builds upon itself and you learn, you're kind of learning as if you, you would as a kid, okay? So you're not learning how to write or anything like that, but you're learning how to um, form sentences from, from very, very little thing, or very, very simple things in the beginning and then later on. So... Um, so ahora uh, uh, aprendo uh, uh, aprendo uh, español, pero uh, you know I can like how how do I say it? like I don't even know how I want to have to think what I want to say, um, but yeah, and, uh, ahora uh, aprendo español con mi esposa y 
y uh, el uh, Michelle Thomas method y, uh, y cuando vamos a vamos a restaurante el restaurante um, uh, yo uh, yo uh, um, yo uh, uh, yo puedo yo puedo uh, hablo español con um, uh, con los uh, traba uh, trabajadores I don't know how you say it, like the workers but uh, I can speak with the with some of the workers at least enough to where they understand me right and how long did it take me to learn said español <laughs> It took, in reality, probably about 10 hours of listening and, and speaking back. And then a little bit of here and there with my, with my wife. Pero, eh, uh, pero es uh, mucho más, mucho más uh, español than when I... You know, it was a lot. Uh, it's a lot more Spanish than when I uh, was learning in high school, right? And so, there's always a faster way. So when we, I learned Spanish, I'm like, you know what? I want to do this. With my my mother in law speaks French, so I wanna I wanna learn French too. And then just enough to where she can understand me, and then I can start learning and talking and growing and so on from it, right? And so, uh, so like, maintenant. Uh, maintenant, um, je je peux parler uh, le français. Uh, et um, je voudrais je veux, je voudrais uh, apprendre 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 um, plus plus uh, le français. Um, and like I like so, if you don't know what I said, I I, I basically said and it, it might be not totally perfect but I can say but now I can speak uh, I can speak French and I want to learn more French um, and uh, and it's cool because even uh, right before doing this I was listening to some French sermons um, because I, I I like French sermons because the speaker has to be very art has to articulate what they're saying And so it's very easy to catch and see, oh, that's what they're saying, rather than just bada, 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 like in normal conversation. However, learning normal conversa uh, through normal conversation is great as well. So, so and then it was French. And then I was, like, I was like, well, what about German? Let's learn some German. And so I, I only know a little bit. I've only done like less than an hour of German. But, you know, if I want to say like something like, do you, do, uh, do you want to come and eat with me tonight or this evening? You can say, uh, um, you would say, wollen Sie, wollen Sie mit mir, mit mir, uh, do you want to eat with me? Wollen Sie mit mir Abend essen? I think uh, that's how you say it, yeah. Wollen Sie mit mir Abend essen? Or... Um, Do you want to, um, or I want to, I think it's, I want to eat with you tonight. It would be, uh, ich will, ich will mir sie, mir sie Abend essen. And I might be wrong, but, uh, my German listeners might know that, but these are the where it's, it's ingrained now where I'm like, oh, I can, I know how to say certain things now and you can build off of that and how fast did that happen literally that was 45 minutes of german <laughs> i'm not joking it's crazy or maybe a little bit more than that maybe an hour and a half something like that right but here's the what's the what's the whole overall thing with this the the, the, the why is this important it's important because There's always a better way to do something. There's always a faster way to do something. And, and, while there, and while there might not be right now a faster way, come back a year and there might be a faster way. So one of the things that we're doing in our business is we're using AI technology to do cold emails uh, where we reach out to people and, and we're able to send hundreds and thousands of emails out and the people who are not interested 
basically don't get anything um like they'll, they'll get an email back saying oh, okay cool thank you or whatever uh, the email says the people who are interested get a response to their question and if they get if uh, the, if the question is um, fulfilled they'll actually try and schedule an, a meeting and things like that automatically right this is something that could not happen a few years ago right you had to do cold emails, you had to answer every single one or hire someone to answer every single one. This one, you can literally do thousands. And then when, uh, when you're following up with someone, the, the AI bot will always follow up, always, every single time, will follow up. <laughs> Pretty amazing, right? And so here, here you are being you know, able to go to seamless.ai and find a whole bunch of leads from there, import them into this AI uh, bot, send off hundreds of emails and start, and you can now start getting customers. Pretty dang cool. If you ask me, if, you know, if I say so myself, something that couldn't happen before. Right. But, and a lot of people don't even know it can still happen. Right. So here is where you have to start thinking that there has to be a better way. This is why we do systems, why ProSolum, the virtual systems architects and everything that we do at ProSolum.com is based around do a five minute video, get the thing documented that you just show that do a five minute video of what you want done, let the person document it and then let them do it. Now that five minutes, you never have to do that thing ever again, right? There's a faster, faster way. And the cool thing is your people, if you train them the right way, they're going to find faster ways to do those tasks, right? So you're constantly optimizing, constantly doing things better. But you should never think that there's, you know, just because the school system says you have to learn things this way, it's not true, right? And just because Michelle Thomas says you can, you have to learn things, you can look, learn things this way and it'll be fast, faster than everywhere else. That might not be true either because there's another method that I'm learning it's called the FLR method. It's by this, this, this guy who's on YouTube who just developed his own method. And he knows like 50 different languages. And it's all, all of the languages are because of he, what he does is he goes out and he just listens to these um, uh, things that these conversations that happen over and over and over again. And he responds to them. And then from there, he's able to have conversations with people, right? So it's a very different way. It's a totally different way of, it's a totally different way of learning, but it's also fast. That's another, another thing like where he'll do something where it's like you learn things like, uh, like uh, for Spanish, it'd be like, uh, quien es tu profesor? Uh, mi profesor es, es, uh, uh, Francisco or, or Pancho or whatever, right? And you just learn that over and over and over again. So you hear that and you know exactly what's being said right away. So same thing in French. It would be like, Qui es, uh, um, qui es, uh, uh, qui es, qui es tu professeur, you know? Um, uh, no, actually, qui est ton, ton, ton professeur? professeur? Something like that. I haven't, I haven't taken his, his French thing, but it would be ton, ton professeur or a professeur de toi. Um, whatever it is, right? And you learn, you learn, you learn because these are things that always come up. You know, it's like, um, uh, it's always something that is asked. And so now that you, you can get these f- positive feedback loops by being, being able to answer those things. And so anyway, all that being said, there's always a faster way to do something always. And it's just a matter of finding that and, and faster. What I mean by faster too, is get making it to where you're not cutting corners. You're actually building more quality into what you're doing, right? Now you might not be spending a lot of time, but maybe your staff is spending more time on it, right? Or they're not spending more time on it. A a bot is spending more time, so now they're more valuable, okay? So what right now can you do that would make things better, faster, cheaper, and easier in your business? There is something right now that you're struggling with. What is that one thing? 
And if you like, feel free to contact me. You go to prosalem.com. You could do a, uh, a uh, scheduled discovery call there. And we just hop on the phone and we chat, right? Chat about what you're, what's currently happening in your business. I'll totally give you some, uh, some free advice and uh, <clears throat> help you to get to that next level with, uh, with doing something better, faster, cheaper, and easier. But what can you do right now even by yourself, what can you do right now to make something better and faster? Because there is a way to do that. So this is Dean Soto, freedominfivenutes.com. Go check that out and go check out prosalum.com. And I will see you in the next Freedom in 5 Minutes podcast episode. Thanks for listening to the Freedom in 5 Minutes podcast. Now, head over to www.freedomin5minutes.com and register for our free masterclass and discover how to start systemizing and automating your entire business five minutes at a time. We'll see you next time on the Freedom in 5 Minutes podcast.